gardening is not a new concept. In fact, it can be traced back thousands of years to ancient Rome, though it's still considered experimental. Uh, some believe it's the future of gardening because it's economical, sustainable, and environmentally friendly, um, and a very good way to produce food. One of those believers is Dr. Gene uh, Giacomelli. Uh, he is the professor of agriculture and biosystems engineering at the University of Arizona. Yes. I was just out there last week. Yes. I was. Beautiful place. Oh, oh my gosh, what a wonderful university. You. And you are there uh, teaching students about yes. biodiversity and about hydroponics. Hydroponic crop reduction. Hydroponics is growing plants without yeah. soil. Uh -huh. And when you combine them with controlled environments, you can grow crops and food anywhere in the world, wherever people go, whether it's the deserts of the southwest right. like you saw or the extreme cold of Antarctica. Giacomelli and uh, this very interesting greenhouse called a phototron. So why, why is it called a phototron? Well, it has lights. That's, yeah. the, that's the main thing to have the plant grow. But basically, think of it as a lunar greenhouse for your home. You can bring this into your home and grow a tomato. These are cherry tomatoes. Can we lift this up and take a look? Yeah. Cherry tomatoes in here. But you mm. could also grow lettuce, wow. six or seven plants in 30 days. You could then um, have uh, replanting and grow year-round because you have the warm temperatures in the house and the lights provide the energy for the plant to grow. It replaces the sun. Right. How long do the lights stay on during the day? The lights can stay on anywhere from oh. 12 to 16 but hours, depending on what you're growing. Yeah, so it's right, tomatoes. How long would you have to keep the lights on? I would do it no more than 16 hours. Uh -huh. Yeah, they don't like much. They have to sleep a little bit yeah, just like do, us. Yeah, they do, of know? course. But the, the, the Phototron yeah, can, is, is essentially a device you can bring into your home and have fresh vegetables, know where they've come from, how much? How you grown these? This is about three hundred dollars. You can check on the website uh -huh. and and up. What a nice piece of equipment. So if you can't afford three hundred dollars, oh, there's what alternatives. Can we do? Okay. I think we have a good alternative. Okay. Right here. Yeah. Let's let's show everybody. Great. It might not be as pretty, but it's very effective. Yes. We start with this this styrofoam yeah. ice chest, and uh, I have we line several it. of those in my garage. I bet you do. I you, do. Everybody does. Yeah. So you line it with plastics to make sure the water doesn't leak out okay. because we're going to put our nutrient water in there. And nutrient water is just water that we add fertilizer to. Okay. And you just read the back of the, the recipe on there, and it tells you how many teaspoons per gallon to put in. And you fill up that container. So how much? Then. Or should I do it? No, no. no not now, not now. Oh, this no, is no. only no, no, make-believe. No, 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 make-believe. No. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. But then we want to put this lid on here, and you see we have our plants growing, and yes. the base of those will touch the top of the water. Oh, so are these are cut out? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Now that's what we have to do. We have to prepare the cutout, which the easiest thing to do is to uh, put this on, scribe it with a pencil, and then cut the hole a little oh, okay. bit smaller, <laughs> a little bit smaller so it doesn't fall through like okay. a cup holder. Yeah. Now I, I wanted to mention that the black there is to keep the sun from going in to the root system because with the nutrients in the water, we get green algae. Right. And well, we don't it could, want that. It, yeah, but it couldn't go, I mean, it just really makes it more waterproof too. Here. Oh, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So what are you using okay, here? Okay, so you start with a cup, all right, with the hole in the bottom. And, and you're gonna do this, it looks like you're gonna plant Swiss chard and kale. Okay. I get privilege of lettuces, I love okay. lettuce. Put a little sphagnum moss, and sphagnum is the plants from the box, right? Okay. All right, so this is plant material. You put a little bit in the bottom, just to block up the hole. And then you fill it with perlite. Perlite is materials, materials from the earth that are heated and popped, like pop rocks, right. basically. And then we take the plant and we place it inside. Well, we might want to put a little bit more in there, pa pack some around, and okay. then we can place it into... A little more sphagnum moss. Yeah, I'd put a little more sphagnum moss in the bottom okay. there. That, that would be good. Um, we utilize... Um, um, to careful tools. I understand this is a very special one here. Oh yes, the so, Martha Craft Cutter. Yes, I got I got the, the procedure on how to do that now. So that's okay. good. So this is and good. So sphagnum moss and perlite. Sphagnum moss and perlite. And no food, no slower nope. time release food nope, or anything because it's in the be water. In the water exactly. And the okay. purpose is then to plant these and have them in the lid, put on top. So yeah, so anything green, leafy, tomatoey, cucumbery will well, the, yes. be successful. You might want to keep the leafy greens together and not put a tomato with this okay. group uh, for that matter. Okay. So we can help you put one yeah. more in here. And then you carefully place it on there, bring the water level up just to the bottom of the 
of the plastic what cup. What fun. And away you go. But you Set need... it outside okay, in out... the sun. Oh, outside. If you can, yes, out oh, of the okay. wind if possible. Or so can... if it's wintertime, then you keep it in the house oh, next I to a see. window. Try to get four to six hours of light a day if you can. So do you have information at, uh, at, oh, from your yes. department we, on the internet? On the internet, we have the, uh, all the explanation for you. So how long does it take the roots to um, enter the water? Oh, 24, 48 hours, really? they'll be down in the water. And that's the beauty of it, is that you can walk away from it and it's automatically watered. So you can grow yourself. You can have a whole porch full of these if you want. Absolutely. And you can be growing in water hydroponically. And it's really, really interesting. Now, just keep snipping off the leaves as you need them. Well, you, yeah, you can, eat, you can eat them as you go, uh -huh. certainly. Or you can let them form ahead and then, and then can harvest you, can them. Can you start once. seeds like that? Or do you have to have the plants started in well, the flat? Well, I just thought it was easier to go to your garden center, yeah. favorite one, and buy a transplant. Of okay. course, if you'd like to do the cell pack and yeah. put your favorite seeds so you get the exact variety that you right. want, then certainly you could do that. Okay. And after a few weeks, you have a transplant.